Believe it or not, every single day when I wake up, I think about ice cream, I come in to work, and we make and eat ice cream every single day. I'm Jenny Brittenbauer from Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams, and my new book is called Jenny's Splendid Desserts. It's about 30 new ice cream recipes and a whole bunch of other things that go with ice creams. I like cakes and pies and empanadas and sundaes. What I love about ice cream is that it, it accessorizes a dessert and it can change the conversation. So you can start with just a beautiful, well-made, but very simple cake. If you put it with a coriander ice cream, for instance, it says one thing. Something like raspberry sorbet, which is just much lighter, something altogether different. And so you can choose ice cream to accompany your dessert and that creates this sort of conversation at the table. Nothing hides in ice cream, so the ingredients that you start with are the flavors that you end up with. Blackberries and strawberries and black raspberries and blueberries. And often we'll add gravels to that equation, and that adds kind of a crunchy, salty element to a dessert. My perfect sundae is composed of different flavors, textures, and temperatures. So a warm sauce, a crunchy gravel, creamy frozen ice cream, and then of course, whipped cream. If you create a sundae, give it a name. So something like the Austrian dancing kick, the exit through the cafe, the salty grandma, the Coco Rococo, or one night in Bangkok. <laughs> So Jenny's Splendid Desserts is an extension of my first book and then more. What you make with the book will be different from what somebody else makes with the book, will be different from what I would make with the book. I want to give the reader the keys to the kingdom. As long as you've kind of got the body and the texture and the, the right ingredients in the ice cream, it's gonna be beautiful and you'll never make the same dessert twice. I mean, we're trying to um, allow readers to tell their own stories through ice cream. And if your ice cream machine is now sitting in your basement gathering dust, I say to you, go downstairs and get that thing out. Fire it up, because it's gonna work this time. Oh, I have eaten so much ice cream in my lifetime, more ice cream than probably any other human being that maybe has ever walked this planet. <laughs>